In this video, we're going to replace the stock EL backlight display, as shown here, with the new OLED display. Um, you'll notice here two pins. There aren't any pins on this one. That's because those are for the EL backlight. And this doesn't have any backlight at all. It doesn't need it. Uh, the 14 pins are the same on the other side. Uh, you'll notice there's two pins that are not used and that's because those would be for an uh, LED backlight on an LCD type display. Uh, so those aren't used in this case either. But the seven uh, rows of two pins each will line up and should be able to just plug into the keyboard um, without any additional modification. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this uh, display in. I've already taken the screws out from the case. We're going to take the back off. And on the keyboard, you have to go ahead and remove the logic board. Uh, no way around it. So we're going to work on that and you need to pull your connectors straight up and then a number two Phillips to remove the logic board. Now, take out the logic board. And we'll set that aside. And here's our display board. And we'll take that out. There's some screws that hold the front edge on as well, so we'll have to remove the key assembly as well. For these, actually, a number one Phillips is probably better suited. And at this point, we'll go ahead and pull out the key assembly. Uh, we also pull that. Now we can see that there's some additional screws here, and we'll make short work of those. Okay, so as you can see, here's the display, and we can go ahead and quite simply just pull that out that quick. Now again on this new display there aren't any pins on the right hand side so it would be best to probably put a screw in the other side to 
hold it solidly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and put this back in. One thing of note, if you wanted to replace your sliders, this would be a perfect time to do it. That screw, by the way, is a number four, 40 thread, and uh, it's three-eighths inch long. Some uh, units already have screws on their displays, and so you would just move them over. In this case, this particular unit did not, so I took one from my uh, cannibalized display board that I had from an Emacs 2. And we'll just continue. And before you go really far putting this back together, you might just want to take a quick look and make sure that all your buttons are in place and didn't get shoved back in or something like that. So we've got the display board back in place. We verified that the buttons are all in there properly. And so next we're going to put this keyboard section back in. This goes in, you're going to slide it in down low a little bit here underneath because that front part goes underneath you might want to lift up a little bit on the case business here. Looks like we're pretty well lined up. Okay, so we will start with these guys. Do not over tighten these. Don't tighten these all the way up at first just get all of them in there so that when you start tightening them you're not putting all the weight on one one mount stud you're uh, you're gonna be balancing the weight across all of them at once uh, so that you can kind of relieve some of the stress that's going to occur there, or could occur there. Okay, and now at this point it's time to put some of these items back in. Okay, and...
now we're ready to put the logic board back in. So here we go. It's going to angle in. And of course, these cables are always a little bit of a pain because they like to go their own way. So, we get those out of there. And we can line up the screw holes. I usually do the ones near the back of the case. Oh, that's the back of the case first. You don't have to tighten them all the way down. Just uh, get them in there. Because we'll come back and we'll snug it up later. And if you If you were to tighten it down, then you'd see there that it can prevent you from putting in some of the other screws. So that just kind of causes you more trouble. And now we're ready to check our work by powering it on. And there we go. Complete.